ஆஜுபில்லாஹிஸ்மீல்லீம்ஷைத்தோன்லைனஜீம் பிஸ்மில்லாஹிர்ரஹ்மானிர்ரஹீம் அல்ஹம்துல்லாஹிரபில்லாலமீம் அஸ்ஸலாத்து வஸ்ஸலாமு அலா அஷ்ஃபில் அம்பியா இவல் முர்சலீம் வாலா அஹ்லே பைத்தையபீன தாஹிரீனல் மாசுமீன் அம்மா பாது ஃபக்கத் கால் அல்லாஹு தாலா ஃபி கிதா பிஹில் முபீன் வஹுவா அஸ்தகு சாதிகீன் பிஸ்மில்லாஹிர்ரஹ்மானிர்ரஹீம் அல்லாஹு வலியுல் அஸீனா மனு யுஹ்ரிஜுஹும் மினஸ் ஸுலமாதி இலன் நூர் சதக அல்லாஹு அல் அலியல் அஸீம் அல்லாஹும் ஸல்லி அலா முஹம்மத் வ அலி முஹம்மத் லேடிஸ் அண்ட் ஜென்டில்மேன் டுடே இன் தி நேம் ஆஃப் அல்லாஹ் the most beneficent and the most merciful we are going to shed some light on the great personality of lady fatima bint asad alaihi salam there are some traditions that 7th of ramzan is associated with this lady some historians have cited the month of safar as the date of her death or shahada it is imperative in this day and age where everybody is talking about women's rights everybody is talking about diver- diversity inclusion equality human rights we do need to look back and reflect on the revolutionary religion of islam that brought so much visibility so much nobility so much opportunity of growth knowledge leadership to women and the islamic history is filled with so many remarkable ladies whose discussion whose remembrance we don't do as often as we should some of the lion hearted women of islam bibi khadija alay salam lady khadija who was the companion the confidant the comforter the nurturer who was the provider even for the religion of islam and the best friend and the lifelong companion of prophet muhammad peace be upon him who was there for him through thick and thin who was the prophet's biggest support system lady fatima alay salam who the prophet said was the light of his eyes bibi amina alay salam who was the biological mother of the prophet muhammad peace be upon him and then lady fatima bint asad what a remarkable lady we do need to remember that this religion islam whose image is now so disfigured in the eyes of the human kind that people have forgotten what a revolutionary religion it was at the time when the prophet muhammad peace be upon him revealed the revelation of god to the people of arab those people who would bury their newborn daughters daughters alive who would consider it a source of shame a source of sadness and gloom if a daughter was born and our prophet muhammad peace be upon him who the quran calls rahmatul lil alamin that he is the rahmat he is the mercy of god for the universes the prophet says that a daughter is rahmat mercy blessing from allah 
the prophet used to stand up every time his daughter lady fatima salam walked into a room so we discuss the highly esteemed and noble personality of lady fatima bintia sad salam a woman who strove in the cause of goodness in the cause of selflessness in the cause of motherly love and gener generosity even if we forget about religion for a second here there is a saying by imam ali alay salam none other than the son of this holy lady fatima bint asad alay salam imam ali alay salam khatib e mimbar e saloni imam ali alay salam amirul mu'minin he says the food of the body is to feed oneself but the food of the soul is to feed others and this lady bibi fatima bint asad alay salam there are so many traditions and the prophet muhammad peace be upon him himself said it that lady fatima bint asad would feed him first even though he was an orphan she would feed him first and then feed her children and herself so just think about what this personality this esteemed lady teaches us how do we empower our souls how do we strengthen the spirit of compassion of love and kindness even animals would want to get something get something to eat acquire something to eat just eat it without any concern about who's hungry but being human being generous being compassionate and being selfless is what makes humans the most superior of beings lady fatima bint asad a lady who strove in the cause of goodness compassion selflessness her personality can be considered from various angles her role as a guardian for the holy prophet peace be upon him and in raising her son imam ali alayhi salam so in the talk today we are going to discuss and remember some of her noble traits some of the lessons we can learn from her character and her life devotion to god devotion to the cause of the prophet this religion of peace mercy love that is called islam and striving in the way of goodness of humanity as well as her presence in the cultural political and social arenas so we see her as somebody who is steadfast in safeguarding and spreading islamic values depicting those values of compassion love selflessness generosity through her deeds her ideological nearness to the prophet muhammad peace be upon him and imam ali alayhi salam and her deep insight her wisdom and her great virtues she was an exemplary woman in early islam and a shining example of faith struggle in the way of god goodness kindness insight 
and forbearance in the ideological, political, and social arenas and in the early struggles of Islam. She was an influential lady. And what a great mother who played a vital role in both her family and her society. That is why they say that when you educate a man, you educate a man. But when you educate a woman, you are educating future generations because women are the nurturers. Women, a mother is the first learning place, the first mentor, the first teacher for a child. Lady Fatima binti Asad was the mother of Imam Ali Imam Ali, who is the source of truth, the source of wisdom, the gate of the city of knowledge as per Prophet Wisdom, gnosis, and the embodiment of justice, morality, generosity. So Lady Fatima Bintia Sadal Islam is a role model for all the believers, for all the worshippers, and for all the mystics who are on the spiritual path, who want to elevate their souls beyond just the physical being, beyond just being able to accumulate the worldly wealth or materialism, be it in the form of food, shelter, clothing. She was the advocate of human values, the values that are much exalted than material possessions, worldly possessions. I strongly believe that humanity has always been, and even more so today, more than ever, in a dire need of such eternal role models for mankind who went beyond the time, place, language, culture, the traditions of their times and played a dynamic and decisive role in history and set an example for everyone to follow. So Lady Fatima binti Asad one of the very significant roles she performed was her guardianship of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him and his family. The Prophet who was titled, who is titled, the universal reason, the guide to the true path, the seal of the prophets, Khatimun Nabihim, the last, the final prophet, and the bearer of good tidings, Mubashiran wa Nazira. And we can also look at her in her role as the mother of a son who was completely and absolutely devoted to God and the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. That is Imam Ali alayhi salam, Amir al -Mumini. It is impossible for somebody like me to understand the spiritual and existential achievements of Imam Ali alayhi salam, who called himself just a servant among Prophet Muhammad wasallam's servants. Such a personality, such a guide. And Fatima binti Asad salam, was the mother of Imam Ali salam. And she also played the role of a mother for the messenger of God. She is the one responsible for the upbringing of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, 
and Imam Ali al-Islam. What an honor, what a merit, what inherent nobility of this exemplary lady. She was an excellent mother and a woman of faith and good deeds. And a prime example of what God says in Surah Nahl, verse number 97. The translation is, whoever works towards righteousness, man or woman, and has faith, verily to him will we give a new life, a life that is good and pure. So the personal character of Lady Fatima bint Sadr Salam is manifested in her belief in monotheism and a seeker of the truth. People we can all also call Hanif as per the Quran. Before the prophetic mission of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him and his family, she followed the religion of her forefather, Prophet Abraham, just as her husband, Hazrat Abu Talib did. He was also a Hanif and believed in the monotheism preached by Abraham After the advent of Islam, she was among the first women who embraced Islam. So apart from Lady Khadija she was among the first few and the fervent believers in the message of Islam. So Hazrat Abu Talib salam, her husband, had similar beliefs as seen in one of the lines from his poetry. Hazrat Abu Talib salam, says, Verily, I knew that the religion of Muhammad wasalam, was the best religion in the world. The same words like in the Quran, in the Dina, in the Allah al Islam. Indeed, the religion, the best religion in front of Allah is Islam. And he also used in the name of God, and all praise is for God when he was reciting the sermon for the marital union of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and Bibi Khadija alaihi So when witnessing the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam performing prayer along with Imam Ali alaihi in a valley in Mecca, Hazrat Abu Talib alaihi told his other son Jafar, go and say prayer along with your cousin. So a similar figure is Lady Fatima bint Asad, who had followed the religion of Prophet Abraham before the advent of Islam and one of the first converts to Islam, having maintained a high status, hypnosis, faith, morality and education. Such a woman whose life was influenced and guided by revelation and heavenly tendency, she is someone that we should look up to as a role model. Her informed and free choice was based on awareness, on her own faith, her steadfastness in the divine religion of humanity. And this belief, this faith, this steadfastness, this effort, this sacrifice in the religion of Islam, in the way of Allah, sacrificing her own needs, as the Prophet Muhammad said, that Lady Fatima bint Asad would feed me first and put me above herself and her children. This quality has elevated her to such a high rank 
among the humankind that the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, greatly revered and praised her. Furthermore, God the glorified deemed her as worthy of being the mother of Imam Ali and permitted her to enter his house, the Holy Kaaba, for the birth of Imam Ali This event, this remarkable event in the history shows not only the high position of Imam Ali who was born inside the Kaaba, but it also clearly depicts the stature of Lady Fatima Bintia Sadd We can reflect that given the fact that Lady Mary, also called Lady Maryam Alayhisalam, held the rank of servitude, purity, and guardianship, then Imam Ali Alayhisalam's mother, for whom the wall of Kaaba cracked open so that she could take refuge in the divine favors and gifts. Won't she be holding an esteemed position? This rank of Vilaya is bestowed by God, but it is also attained through knowledge, worship, and complete devotion to him, as well as by taking the lead in faith and good deeds. This is the rank of Tawheed, true belief in the oneness of Allah, the Iman, which ensures that there's no idol but God, not even the idol of self, selfishness. This is the rank attained by total, absolute submission to Allah, to God. Witnessing the dominion of the world and of man and witnessing the absolute ruler of the seen and unseen worlds. As God says in Surah Yasin, verse 83, the translation, in whose hands is the dominion of all things? So also did we show Abraham the dominion of the heavens and the earth, the dominion to which Lady Fatima binte Asad salam, had opened the eyes of her heart and played a role in her sincerity and certitude. So Lady Fatima binte Asad salam, is from the family of Hazrat Abu Talib who was also her spouse. So this makes her from the same family as the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. She was the first Hashmi lady whose husband was also a Hashmi. Because of her role as a mother to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, her faith and firmness in the, in the way of monotheism, the oneness of God, and her migration from Mecca to Medina, she was considered exemplary. As Abul Faraj Isfahani stated, stated, she was the first woman who paid allegiance to the Holy Prophet وسلم, after the revelation of the Quranic verse. And then as the Quran claims, in Surah Mumtahana, ayat number, verse number 12. O Prophet, when the believing women come to you to give you a pledge. Ibn Abi al-Hadid also admitted and referred to the fact that Lady Fatima bint Asad was among the first few who converted to Islam. She was the epitome of the above mentioned verse. O Prophet, when the believing women come to you to give a pledge. According to Ibn Abbas, 
this verse was revealed with regards to Lady Fatima Bintia Sadalaisal. Also, she was the epitome of the verse, the vanguard of Islam. The first, this is chapter 9, verse number 100. The vanguard of Islam, the first of those who forsook their homes and of those who gave them aid and also those who followed them in all good deeds. Well pleased is God with them as they are with him. For them, he has prepared gardens under which rivers flow to dwell therein forever. That is the supreme felicity. Lady Fatima binti Asad was among the great women who enjoyed the virtues of taking the lead in Islam and migrating for the sake of God. So as is depicted in the verse 12, of Mumtahana, after attributing the quality of making allegiance with the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, to her. She was, she was steadfast in the way of God, like she had been before while raising the Prophet, peace be upon him, and while protecting him throughout his life. So her character was so noble and esteemed that even before paying allegiance to the religion of Islam and the message of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, she was never tainted with any vices. In other words, she was a very faithful woman who believed in the oneness of God. In the verse 100 of the chapter Taub of the Quran, taking the lead and migration are mentioned as distinguished virtues. Some crucial, fundamental and cognitive spiritual traits which imply pure belief, morals and deeds were specified for those who followed the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Those whom God was pleased with and they loved God, those whom God prepared heaven for, which proves that they are dwellers of heaven. And the fact that they will receive supreme rewards and salvation. So Lady Fatima bint Asad enjoyed all the good qualities mentioned in these verses. As Jafar ibn Muhammad, Imam Sadiq alayhi salam, the sixth Imam, was quoted as saying, Fatima binti Asad alayhi salam was the first woman who migrated on foot toward the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, from Mecca to Medina. He also said, the mother of Imam Ali alayhi salam, Fatima binti Asad, was among the 11 vanguards Al-Sabikun, the ones who were early in faith, the vanguards and the people of Badr or Badriyun, those who attended the Battle of Badr. And when that verse from the chapter Mumtahana was revealed, Fatima bint Asad was the first lady who paid allegiance to the Holy Prophet. Lady Fatima bint Asad also displayed unwavering faith in the one God, even before the prophetic mission of the Messenger of Allah. Based on a narration in Asul al-Kafi about the birth of the commander of the faithful Amir al-Mu'mineen, Imam Ali salam, which is narrated by both Shia and Sunni scholars, when the signs and pains of childbirth became severe. Lady Fatima bint Asad went towards the Kaaba and revealed the magnificence of her God, saying, O oh my Lord, 
I believe in you. O oh my Lord, I believe in you. And all the prophets and divine bo books sent down by you. I have also confirmed the words of my forefather, the Prophet Abraham, salam, who built Kaaba. O oh my Lord, by the one who built this house and by the baby I'm expecting, I beseech you to facilitate his delivery. This narration refers to several facets of Lady Fatima bint Asad's conviction, her faith in God and his unity, her faith in the divine prophets, her faith in the prophet Abraham, her faith in the divine books revealed to the prophets, her belief in the Kaaba and its sanctity, her knowledge of Imam Ali salam's grand status before God and her appeal to God through the prophets, through the Kaaba and through Imam Ali salam. In other narrations, there are references to the esteemed character of Lady Fatima bint Asad salam and her awareness of the high status of the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, and Imam Ali salam. After Lady Fatima bint Asad's burial, the Prophet of God, Muhammad, peace be upon him and his family, told Amar, by God, I did not come out of Fatima's grave, but I saw two rays of light brought to her head and two others to her hands and still two others to her feet. Also, two angels were assigned to her grave to request God's blessings for her till the day of resurrection. So the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him and his family, his actions in the burial service and funeral procession of Lady Fatima in the Asad salam, give us insight into her high status as reported by both Shia and Sunni scholars. The Messenger of God, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him and his family, took part in her burial service by carrying the coffin. And some say that he was just walking under the coffin, which is a tradition usually a son performs for his father in some of the parts of some of African countries. So he was just walking under the coffin. So the Prophet took part in the burial service by carrying the coffin and by digging her grave with his hands. Then he entered the grave and lay in it. Afterwards, he took off his cloak and had Lady Fatima bint Asad covered in it as a burial shroud. And before she was placed into the grave, as narrated by Imam Ali after Lady Fatima bint Asad salam had passed away, the Messenger of God entered and shrouded her in his own garment and performed the funeral, funeral prayer. In the prayer, he said the Tatbir, Allahu Akbar, 70 times. Next, he entered the grave, extending and strengthening it. Then he came out of the grave, shedding tears and casting soil on the internal gravestone. <sighs> History reminds us that at the time of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him's birth, Lady Fatima bint Asad salam, rushed to help his mother, Amin salam. Once the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was born, a light appeared extending between the east and the west startling both Lady Amina and Lady Fatima bint Asad. Lady Fatima bint Asad shared this with her husband, Hazrat Abu Talib salam, told him about the light she had seen. This fact found in the history also indicates at least two points. One, 
is the presence of Lady Fatima Binti Asad al-Salam at the time of the Prophet's birth and her immense service, an act of faith in helping the Prophet's holy mother, Amina bint Wahhab salam. And then this also indicates her witnessing of the all sweeping light that extended between the East and the West. And then the holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, his participation in the funeral of Lady Fatima bint Asad and her mystic intuitive presence at the time of the Prophet Muhammad wasallam's birth truly imply her nearness to God, her esteemed spiritual stature and her faith, her ranks, nearness to the God and his messenger, peace be upon him. So the Prophet وسلم, stated five enlightening and profound words regarding the personality of Lady Fatima bint Asad The Messenger of God remembered her saying, apart from Hazrat Abu Talib she treated me best. She was my mother after my own mother. While Abu Talib salam, benevolently prepared the food, Lady Fatima bint Asad salam, gathered us for this food. She gave me the larger share of all food so that I might return to their home again. Then he said, Fatima bint Asad salam, heard the Messenger of God say, On the day of resurrection, people will be mustered naked. Lady Fatima said, Oh, woe, such shame. The Prophet said, I will request God to muster you covered. And also, when Lady Fatima heard the Prophet speak of the test and trials in the grave. She said, Woe, what helplessness in that situation. The Messenger of God وسلم, said, I will ask God to take care of you in this regard. The Prophet of God وسلم, said, I lay her in her grave in order to ease the strains of her grave. And I dressed her in my own cloak, my garment, so that she might wear the heavenly garment. After burying Fatima bint Asad salam, the Prophet of Islam said, the angels were everywhere in the horizon, opening the doors of heaven to Lady Fatima bint Asad salam and rolling out the heavenly carpets for her. The heavenly ladies rushed to meet her and now she's showered with happiness, bounty and heavenly blessings. And her grave is a heavenly garden. The Prophet of Islam, Muhammad wasallam, also said, the Archangel Gabriel informed me that she is a dweller of heaven and God has commanded 70,000 angels to pray for her. It is also written in the traditions that the day Lady Fatima bint Asad passed away. The Prophet said, today my mother has died. In addition to the Prophet's high regard for her, many great Muslim scholars and thinkers have also praised her for her gnosis, morals, faith, and spirituality. Abdullah ibn Abbas said, she was the first woman who migrated from Mecca to Medina in bare feet. In addition, she was the first woman who after Lady Khadija salam, pledged allegiance to the Holy Prophet of Islam. Zahri says, 
the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to visit her and stay at her house and she was such a praiseworthy lady jamaluddin abul faraj abdur rahman ibn al jauzi said she was a righteous right out woman who wholeheartedly embraced islam sayyid mohsin amin says she was a pioneer in islam and the first woman who migrated to medina fatima bint asad alayhi salam was among the women who migrated to medina heading towards the prophet of islam muhammad peace be upon him along with imam ali alayhi salam and lady fatima zahra alayhi salam during their 24 hour stay in a place called dajnan imam ali alayhi salam along with lady fatima zahra alayhi salam performed their prayer and remembered god the whole night standing sitting and while laying down at dawn they said the dawn prayer with imam ali alayhi salam the fajr prayer they had covered each stop remembering god until they reached medina before they're entering medina the divine revelation was sent about them in surah al imran chapter 3 verse number 191 those who remember god standing sitting and lying down on their sides and contemplate the creation of the heavens and the earth in response to them the end of this very quranic verse reads as follows so their lord accepted their prayer that never will i waste the work of any worker among you whether male or female that's surah al imran again verse number 195 the term male here refers to mama ali alayhi salam and the term female refers to lady fatima bint asad alayhi salam lady fatima zahra alayhi salam were also and the tradition say that also to another fatima was the daughter of super so three fatimas here so looking at the events in the life of lady fatima bint asad alayhi salam we can conclude with confidence that she is an amazing esteemed and great role model for all the women who want to exalt in spirituality in humanity and in religion she had a deep understanding and a pure loving compassionate heart god granted her the true faith and her life is filled with good deeds God also made her the wife of Hazrat Abu Talib alayhi salam who strove in the cause of God for the protection of the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him and was a self-sacrificing muslim who was a who was the strongest most avid supporter and protector of the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him sallallahu alaihi wasallam her divine beliefs in tawhid in the oneness of God monotheism rendered her to be the mother of imam ali alayhi salam and also she's the one who did imam ali's early training thus as said in surah araf verse number 58 she was the epitome of good land and as said good word fatima bint asad alayhi salam became the divine greatest sign that she trained she is the one responsible for the training of the father of all imams imam ali alayhi salam and the holy prophet peace be upon him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam always regarded her as his own mother Fatima bint Asad alayhi salam the lady enjoyed knowledge and nurses she was god fearing strove in the way of god and goodness 
and took the lead in embracing Islam. These are the yardsticks of virtue, superiority, and the stages of theoretical and practical perfection of one's spiritual journey. Based on the Quranic verse revealed about Imam Ali salam, and Lady Fatima salam, she was praising, remembering God. And she held wisdom and intellect. She was a woman of intellectual genius, political and social insight, mental and practical purity, similar to Lady, Lady Khadija salam, who made many efforts to elevate faith and propagate the Islamic values. These ladies endeavored alongside the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and Imam Ali alayhi salam, as well as they were the warriors, the migrants for the sake of Islam and supported Islam at a time when it had very few followers. At the end, I'll conclude this talk with a few sayings from the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, about Lady Fatima bint Asad May God bless your noble soul. You were to me like my own mother. You fed me while you yourself went hungry. Your aim in doing so was to plead, please God with your deeds. May God bless your noble soul. You were to me like my own mother. You fed me while you yourself went hungry. Your aim in doing so was to please God with your deeds. He often said, I was an orphan and she made me her son. She was the kindest person to me after Hazrat Abu Talib The Prophet also said once, O oh God, life and death are in thy hands. Thou alone will never die. Bless my mother, Fatima bint Asad and give her a mansion in heaven. Thou art the most merciful. There's another saying by the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. My dear mother, may Allah keep you under his protection. Many times you went hungry in order to feed me well. You fed me and clothed me on delicacies you denied to yourself. Allah will surely be happy with these actions of yours. And your intentions were surely meant to win the goodwill and pleasure of Allah and success in the hereafter. As we see later when the Quran was revealed, it is said in the Quran that you can't become Mormon, you can't become a faithful, you can't become a believer unless you put the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, peace be upon him, above yourself, above your parents, above your children, above your own needs. And if you don't do that, then all your good deeds, all your Salat, all your Namaz, all your fasting, all your Rosas, all your uh, hajj, all your zakat, or all your charities, that they are useless if you don't love and obey the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And this is something that Lady Fatima bint Asad was doing back then, even before the revelation of the Holy Quran. Also, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said she kept her own children hungry, but made sure I had enough to eat. She did not comb her own boy's hair, but put oil in my head and combed my hair. So whenever Islam was faced with heavy onslaught, it was the sons of Abu Talib and Fatima bint Asad who stood as a shield and stoically bore the brunt of all sorts, all sorts of catastrophes and calamities, including death 
exile, but never did not ever budge from safeguarding the Prophet Muhammad and safeguarding Islam. This was indeed the upbringing of Lady Fatima bin Asad who is unaware of the great sacrifices of Hazrat Ali and Hazrat Jafar Tayyar who was also one of the four sons of Lady Fatima bin Asad and Hazrat Abu Talib who can forget their sacrifices in the initial stages of Islam? They were always ahead, ready to sacrifice themselves for the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and the cause of God, goodness, and Islam. So they were the true sons of Hazrat Abu Talib, Lady Fatima bin Asad, and real images of their sacrifices and their selfless service. Even in Karbala, we see examples of such sacrifice and such dedication. There were 18 Bani Hashim who were martyred on the land of Karbala along Imam Hussain So we conclude our talk today by praying to the Almighty, O oh God, Increase our knowledge, Rabbi Zidnilma. O oh God, help us understand and get guidance, get inspired by these great personalities who helped the cause of Islam, of goodness, of the religion of peace, knowledge, compassion, self-sacrifice. Please enable us to understand the religion of Islam in the true fashion, in the way you intended it to be. Please allow us to become exemplary human beings and to follow in the footsteps of noble personalities such as Lady Fatima Binti Asad alayhi salam. Oh God, please Forgive our sins, O oh God. Please help us become true believers and make us the source of love, knowledge, compassion, and peace for not just those close to us, but for the entire humanity. Wama alayna illa al Lanatullah ala kaum zalimin. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. Jil Farah.